What's up guys, Spiderbot here for Boom Beach and uh, we're going to go through every single Blackguard base and we're going to do them several at a time on these videos. The first is just called Enemy Base. This is the very first one that you attack. I know we've done all these through our playthroughs, uh, but we wanted to go back and do them flawlessly. I want to complete every single Blackguard base flawlessly, meaning we don't lose a single troop and try to help you along to do the exact same thing. I know there's really not that much of a bonus for doing that, but uh, is kind of a challenge for me as well as to bring you these videos and talk about some, some specific things as we go through and uh, to provide them as, okay, here's level one bases and the names of the bases in the title, the video titles, etc., so that people could search for them and find the exact base they are attacking and maybe play this along while you're, while you're playing Boom Beach. I know it's not out worldwide yet, but it's coming soon in March. Okay, so here's the second base sharpshooter and there are a total of five level one bases here on boom beach okay now one thing i want to stress the importance of and you'll see me do that do this on all of these bases you know the, the little supply buildings or supply crates or whatever those are destructible again and they give you additional energy so we can take out those defenses and you can see when there are um, other buildings or the supply crates that are in cells that are right next to defensive buildings we can hit our artillery right in the in between them and hit two buildings at once sometimes you can hit three sometimes you can hit four this is important in multiplayer because a lot of these bases a lot of these multiplayer bases the your opponents will be putting a lot of defensive buildings within you know right next to each other so you can take out multiple defensive buildings with your artillery um, and at the same time, you're getting energy back. So we could have, you know, uh, maybe our gunboat only has a certain amount of energy. Here's Volatile Materials, the third level one base. Maybe our gunboat has limited energy. We can't necessarily take out a defensive structure like this machine gun. Can we take it out with two volleys of artillery that we, we have here on uh, this, this early in the game? Well, maybe we can, maybe we can't. But... If we go here and take out all four of these supply containers, well, look how much energy we just got. So previously, there was no way for us to take out that machine gun with with what energy we had. We only had two artillery available. Well, we used one to take out those uh, those four supply containers. Each one of those gives us back three energy. So that gave us 12 energy back that we were then able to use towards our third artillery, take out the machine gun, we can send in our troops, and they don't even come under fire, right? We have some more supply containers and the base HQ, and that's it. And that's going to be very, very important. I mean, that's a strategic aspect of multiplayer when you have these buildings, and you're not going to see the supply crates or the supply containers, but you're going to see buildings like the residences and uh, your wood storage and and your quarry that those buildings especially if they're concentrated in a specific area or they're in the back of a base here we are moving on to our fourth level one base called fatal uh, again sort of the same thing i mean it makes it easy because those mines are in the center well we got this, the supply containers on the right hand side we can send our troops in uh, half on one side, half on the other, take out those containers. We already sent in our two artillery, but by the time those containers get taken out, we'll have our third artillery take out the machine gun, and it's free and clear into the HQ, okay? But I've got, you know, multiple examples in multiplayer, of, and we had one rifleman go right towards the mine. Not sure why. <laughs> we almost lost a troop right there. Hopefully we can do all these flawless. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see as we go through. But um, anyways, so yeah, very, very important concept in multiplayer. And the other thing, the other benefit of taking out all these, you know, buildings, not only defenses, but all the other buildings, is that every building you destroy in Boom Beach reduces the hit points on the HQ. Okay? So if you notice, and, and watch closely on this last one, this last one is heavy barrel, the last level one, okay? So we've got the machine gun in the center. Uh, we have the radars on the right-hand side and left-hand side. So we're just trying to figure out, okay, what are we going to do? But as we take out 
the, the machine gun or the radars or whatever, as we take those out, um, the HQ is reduced in health. And you'll see this. Watch, watch, watch. We're going to send in our troops, one on each side, take out the radars. We're going to be out of range of the machine gun. And, uh, and we'll get some additional energy. We'll bring in our last artillery. But watch the health meter on the HQ as we take out these radars. Come on, guys. Riflemen, go. And we're ready to, to launch our artillery. As soon as we get it, hopefully, we can launch it before. Yes, there we go. Look at the health, right? It's way less than half. Um, very, very, another very, very important concept. You take out all those external buildings in multiplayer, you're reducing the health of the HQ, and it's just that much quicker in order to take the HQ afterwards. So, so that has been uh, Boom Beach, all level one bases, and all can be completed on HQ1 with zero casualties. Spider out.